All right, so in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can create an automated task, which is sort of like a cron job, which will run on your local Windows machine and start up Docker containers. And in my case, it's going to start them up only if they are not running. So if the container is running, we don't want to touch it. We're just going to let it do its thing. And uh, in my case, it's like an automated job that should be running every 10 minutes at a certain time. So there's just a few things to keep in mind. So what we're going to do is open up our task scheduler here by going to the task scheduler app. From here, we're going to right click on the task scheduler, then go to the create task. And then uh, from here, the setup is uh, pretty simple. So what we're doing is right clicking, create task. We're going to enter our task name. So let's say it's going to be a test task. From here, I have the setting for run only when the user is logged in. You can uh, change that. Then the basic setup here is that we have the triggers and then we have the actions. So the triggers are going to trigger our action. So here we're basically telling the computer when to run the given task. So in this case, what we can do is by looking at the example of a running task here, which has been running for a year successfully, we can just basically click on new. And uh, this may not be the ideal setup, but it worked for me. So I tried doing it just like do it every 10 minutes, but it did not end up uh, working. Uh, so in this case, I did it slightly differently. So I said that I wanted to run daily. Then I specified the time, let's say it's going to be 10 uh, let's say it's going to be 10 a.m. Then I want the re to repeat the task every 10 minutes for one hour. So that means that it's going to repeat the same thing. Basically, for the whole hour, it's going to be trying to do it every 10 minutes. So six times in one hour. There is no expiration. It's enabled. I'm going to say yes. So that's good. Let's say that we have this thing enabled here. And then we have the actions. So the actions, um, actions is a little bit more tricky. So if we take a look at it here, we're going to do new. What we want to do is start a program. The program that we want to start is uh, PowerShell. So that's the location. This is the location of my PowerShell script in the system. I go like this. Then the argument that it's, what is it going to do once PowerShell is executed? So in my case, I wanted to do the following command, which is if the Docker, uh, if it looks at the Docker container and it notices that the uh, Centris PHP 7 container is up and running, uh, then I want it to basically do nothing. If the Docker, well, else, that means that if this thing is not running, then I wanted to go ahead and uh, start it up by going, by doing Docker Compose restart. So <clears throat> this may change in your setup. Like for example, if you're doing like Docker Compose up or something like that, but in my case, it just, uh, that worked just fine. So Docker Compose restart, uh, because I already have containers that will build from images. So then I just do Docker Compose restart. And then the final, thing that we're going to put in is the start in. So that's that means that where does it go to actually start the script? So I explicitly put the location of my Docker file. So if I go like this, this is going to go here. Start in is going to go in, in this place here. And why? It's because the Docker file is in this location. It's in this location here. So essentially, once again, uh, I want my PowerShell to run this script from this location. My PowerShell to run this script, to execute this command rather, from this location where my Docker file is. And that is going to be doing it every 10 minutes from 10 a.m. So if I go here, I'm just going to click OK, like this, this has been set up. In terms of the settings, I didn't modify anything here and it worked just fine. So. So if we give it one final look, the only thing that I would add here is a few more triggers. So in the case of this script here, for example, what I do is I start it up every uh, every hour up until 7 a.m. So every, at 12, it's going to run the script every 10 minutes for one hour, as we can see that this is what it has here. And this part doesn't look optimal, I agree, but for some reason, after all the testing, this is the only thing that actually makes it run the way that I want it to run. So I want it to run from 12, all the way up until eight every 10 minutes. 
and uh, the other setups for some reason failed i'm not sure what was uh, going on so hopefully you found this video helpful if you found it helpful at all please do leave a like and uh, subscribe and uh, thank you for watching